Hi friends, this is Jimmy aka Swedish Survivor and Knife and Life. This video I'm gonna show you some exciting new knives that I got this week. Sorry I took a sip of coffee. I got three new prototypes sent to me uh, and uh, these three knives are from Kaiser Knives and, and uh, they are really exciting. Uh, all of the models are collaborations with really big and famous custom knife makers they all have things that I pointed out in my Kaiser video or my Kaiser videos a while back when I showed you this beauty for instance titanium flipper knife run some ball bearings and everything uh, beautiful knife uh, you either hate these flames or you like it uh, I pretty much like it <laughs> Uh, but it lacked a stainless steel insert for the lock bar. I think that's a bit of a fail when you're working with titanium. Uh, the name on the knife is still like a prototype name or, or basically not a prototype. It's a model name. KI4447. So the things that I pointed out in my last videos was please start naming your na knives. Because they are nice knives and they deserve a good name. Stainless steel insert is a must. Uh, in my book when you're talking about titanium knives and these three knives that I got they are marvelous let me, let me start off saying that uh, all of the, the, the things that I just mentioned are fixed but I don't I'm not saying that is because of my movie just to be clear there are many many people before me that talked about these issues that they should start naming their names naming the naming their knives and they should put a stainless steel insert when you're talking about the titanium, lock, uh, titanium frame lock knife. So I'm just going to give you a really fast glimpse of, of two of these. And one of, uh, three of, three knives basically. But I'm going to go into a little more specific on one of them. And it happens to be my favorite, of course. These three knives are collaborations. The first one is a, a collaboration with Matt Degnan. Uh, Degnan, I think his name is. His name is printed here at the there you see it on the uh, I didn't knew the I, I, I have never heard of this custom knife maker before I have to be honest uh, uh, really nice knife look at that stainless steel insert god it flips like I, I, I wouldn't believe and this name and this knife has a name now Kane uh, flips like a, yeah, a dream, buttery smooth, uh, beautiful piece, titanium with blue anodized screws, pivot clip and everything. Uh, and this knife is named Kane by, by uh, yeah, Matt Degnan. The other two is from the same custom knife maker and I knew about this guy before. And look at that really nice knife. This knife is a collaboration with Ray Laconica or La Laconico, sorry, I think is that's the right pronunciation. Laconico, yeah, Ray Laconico. Hard name to pronounce, sorry if I offended anyone. Uh, really beautiful knife, really beautiful. This ni knife is named Intrepid, uh, probably model off one of his customs. Uh, blue anodized uh, backspacer uh, also flips like you wouldn't believe centering on all of these is pretty damn close I have to say uh, so this I mean look at this piece look at this piece I think it's marvelous actually really really good looking knife and the knife that I want to give a little more, more of a limelight my favorite knife Say hello to Jasmine. This is a very light and very thin, great EDC knife, I have to say. A bit of an open construction at the back. A backspacer in titanium here, as you see, if I can get the camera to focus all the way back at the bottom. A really, really nice anodized clip. I hope this will show out great in the movie because it looks gorgeous. Blue anodized screws, a lanyard hole in the bottom and 
there you see the stainless steel inset with a built-in over travel stop you see the that little metal thing goes straight uh, through here and at the frame here so it hinders you can't over push uh, the lock bar basically uh, this knife is called Gemini uh, this name of the knife but it's a model of his own custom knife made uh, name named Jasmine and it's the same custom knife maker as Intrepid Ray Laconico and this knife I have to say this knife uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gobbled this is a beautiful knife a beautiful knife there you see that that built-in over travel stop look at that nice pivot I'm so sorry for this lighting I, I, Jesus it's really bad I know it I have to have I think I'm gonna zoom in and hold the knife a little further, further back there you see it this blue anodized hardware looks really great it's a really thin knife really thin profile and very light as well it doesn't weigh much I don't have any scales so I don't know exactly what it weighs to be honest the detent on this knife is Jesus Christ it's among the best I have ever felt in my life and that's not over uh, over pushing it uh, and it flips like <laughs> you wouldn't believe full flat grind blade uh, let me see if I can get I have to move this camera I'm so sorry guys looks like shit I know it there you see that they still have that KI blah 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 and you see S35 VN and at this side you have Jasmine and this looks really close to his to Ray Laconico's custom knife but not with the blue hardware it's it's a bit of a stone wash finish on it and that knife looks amazing as well uh, but look at this knife uh, this is a prototype one once again and it will be called Gemini when it releases some somewhere in the late of August or beginning of, of uh, let me see here August. Uh, yeah in, in the late uh, late of August uh, they have a stainless steel insert with a built-in over travel stop run some ball bearings and it's this knife is so smooth and it's so fast and it's so light I think this is gonna be the my my go-to knife now when you're talking about EDC because this knife it fires out like a rocket really and it it's so smooth I, 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 I yeah I'm really I'm really in love with this piece as you probably already have figured out uh, it looks amazing I think uh, maybe these screw heads uh, I, I know you leftists want to have this but the knife would be a lot a lot more clean look I think if you didn't have these holes here uh, but I understand why they are there leftists really need something as well uh, the anodization is really beautiful uh, and here at the back of the spine on the blade that's a really nice touch too uh, it's the maker's mark basically or the, the knife maker behind this knife Ray there you see it really nice and I, I don't know if, if the camera would pick this up but even even the, the the ball bearings here inside are anodized blue it's really cool Ray Laconico and yeah my god this knife is I I can't even begin to explain how, how much I love this knife already it's so buttery smooth and it f it's fast like you wouldn't believe actually and the hardware and everything the thin profile uh, yeah not a hundred percent center but really close I don't know if, it, if it's because I have flipped it or, or what not. No, there you go. There you have it, full centered. It has a little bit of room to go side to side here. But it's, yeah, it's basically dead on center. I, I, I won't complain of this, and you can adjust them, of course. Uh, but this knife, Jasmine, or Gemini, uh, that it will be called when it releases, uh, I think this knife. This knife will be a huge hit. 
a huge seller for Kaiser. Uh, I'm really, I would be really shocked if this, if this knife doesn't fly out of the shelf. One thing that I could say is here you have that name again, KI blah blah blah. Remove that, keep S35VN of course. The logo is really nice. The grind lines are really good looking as well. Good, good edge. Uh, you should maybe start doing maybe a serial number up here at that spot. And the name here, Jasmine, it's only on the prototype, uh, but on the finished product, um, it will be named Gemini. Uh, but I mean, this knife, oh my god, I, I really like it. It's very light, it's a fast deploying knife, a nice full flat grind blade, a good looking knife. I don't even want to take this out, I just want to have it in my, in my cabinet, just admiring it basically, uh, because it's so damn beautiful. And it's, yeah, you see it fires out like a shotgun basically. And I mean, the look, the look on this blade is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Full titanium body, anodized hardware, stainless steel insert, built-in over travel. Uh, and yeah, a really good looking blade as well. Uh, I, I wish I had a scale to put this on, but this knife is really light uh, due to the thin, thin profile. Uh, keeps of course the weight down uh, and yeah yeah I don't know I don't know what more to say Jasmine or Gemini this is a really a beautiful piece and uh, it's gonna be really fun to see this knife fly off the shelf because I think this is gonna be huge hit for Kaiser a really huge hit if they if they just like I mean take away that KI bullshit there uh, and, and, and yeah of course the name of the knife Gemini it's a lot better I like Jasmine so I'm pretty happy to have Jasmine print on it St yeah it has everything I could wish for I, I, I don't know what more they could add to this knife uh, it's um, extremely sharp out of the box as well uh, really sharp uh, and I mean the action on it the detent is pixel perfect detent on this one uh, the really nice touch of course Ray Laconico's name there at the spine of the knife I really like that really like that and and uh, yeah what more what more can I say uh, Kaiser Gemini or aka Jasmine what a what a beautiful knife it feels great in hand really comfortable no jimping and stuff like that, but this is a EDC knife, it's not for, for self-defense or, or anything, you don't need any traction point, er, tra traction points. Everything is really nice, rounded off edges, no hard edges anywhere. Uh, yeah, I, I think love at first sight, I don't know. Um, it, was, it was a hard, I don't know when, when I felt this much joy over a knife actually uh, I think as I said this will be a huge huge hit for Kaiser if they keep it like this or as close as this as you can possibly get I think this is gonna be yeah maybe the number one seller uh, and I will show you the other knives uh, these that one the Intrapede and Kane in a later, a later movie, I'm gonna zoom out a bit so you can see something. So here, here is the three knives again, so you can see the size of them. Uh, the smallest one, Gemini. The the medium one. This is exactly as big as a traditional uh, Spyderco Tenacious in size. Uh, also flips like yeah, all of these knives, they flip really good really right, nice action on, on, on them, all three of them. Uh, I think this one is the smoothest. Yeah. And it has great centering as well. And I mean, yeah. <laughs> Buttery smooth.
buttery, buttery, smooth. Uh, so so uh, keep your eyes open for uh, a video of this piece, the Intrapeed. Uh, there you go. So, three new exciting pieces from Kaiser. I'm really, really happy with these knives. Uh, and I hope you had a, had a, you found this movie interesting. Please leave a comment if you'd like. Press a thumbs up, that will make me really happy. Uh, and keep your eyes open for more Kaiser videos, of course. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other. And remember, as always, stay sharp.